Good morning from the hotel room. As you can tell, I was really tired last night. I was up really early um, and to catch all those flights and stuff. Today is the tour, so, uh, not the tour, the uh, sh uh, convention. Here's my view, right next to the highway. Um, I really like that. There's a little nuclear tower over there, whatever that is. Um, so I think the plan of attack today, I have to change hotels because when I called to book for the convention, the other hotel was sold. This hotel, which is Kansas City uh, the, uh, International Airport Hilton, um, was sold out for the second night, which is fine. The Best Western uh, is literally right across the street that way. So I booked a hotel room there for about the same price that I got for the convention price here. So, uh, plan of attack. I think I'm just going to take my time getting ready today. Um, go down, eat some breakfast, because the show doesn't open till 12 for registrants. Um, so, looking through this little book here, I did see there was uh, some tours that I kind of wish I actually booked for. I'm going to talk the, to the registration desk about that. When I was online, I'm like, oh, all I need is the convention. But now I see the uh, they have TriStar Experience and Jet Midwest Tour. Uh, the Jet Midwest Tour is that building way over there. And they're basically an aircraft like scrapyard slash maintenance yard. So they just have like a warehouse full of engines and airplanes and old airlines that don't exist anymore. Um, I think that would have been really cool. So today the tours are 115 and 415. Um, tomorrow the tours are I think 115 and 415 again or something like that. Um, I'll see if I can't register for one of those. That would be uh, very cool. So, yeah, I guess I just wanted to say good morning. Slept hard, trying to upload the first video. Um, oh yeah, food last night. That was kind of hard. I was just kind of, uh, since I walked over to that area, I was sweaty, sweaty, sweaty. Um, I just wore myself thin. Already tired. Um, it was cool seeing it, uh, but... All of a sudden, I was really hungry. I was editing the video, and I'm like, I'm really hungry. So I went downstairs, and I'm like, just, you know what? Just give me, like, a microwave bag of popcorn. Nope, don't have that. How about a water? Can I buy a water? Nope, don't have that either. Go over to the restaurant. I'm like, all right, what do they got in the restaurant? The restaurant, burgers are $20. And I'm like, all right, uh, I get it. You know, it's a hotel restaurant. Things are expensive. Um... Yeah, but it's a burger I'll eat half of, and I won't even finish, so what a waste of $20. So then I went back to the uh, convent, the convenience area, um, and I started talking to the um, couple older people, and they said there's the convenience store, which is right there, which is the BP. Uh, they have really good stuff. So I got a big chicken uh, wing, a uh, leg, sorry, a leg for a dollar seventy-five. I got a couple bags of popcorn. I got some Chex Mix for the uh, interim snacks and a nice cold thing of milk. That hit the spot, and I think I spent twelve dollars on that whole entire meal. So, little tip for you: if you use your resources when traveling, you don't have to eat at the expensive places and the chicken leg was fresh there was some guy in the back just making them up so absolutely fantastic so all right i'll talk to you convention side i think cool just went up to the 11th floor that's the other hotel i'm gonna be staying at Beautiful view. There's another view of that airplane place that I did not register for the tour. I'm gonna see if I can't talk to one of the guys. Um, yeah, I asked at the registration desk, so. Yep, real nice view. And then Kansas City, I don't know, but I think it's 
way over there. Yeah. Well, just waiting for the convention to start. Um, the show. Uh, so, got about an hour and a half here to kill. So I think we'll just go a little, do a little bit of exploring and whatnot. So. All right. See you then. So far, got one lucky model. I'm looking for that one, so I'm happy with that. Thinking about a UPS MD11 that I didn't expect to see here either. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, a little back stairways. That's pretty cool. Might get a little runway pad uh, so I can set my models on it as well. So, yep, pretty cool. It's insane. I know, right? Yeah. This is a 200 and a 400 scale model. It's amazing. What do you fly? CRJ, ERJ? 175. 175s, yep. Of course, I'm having trouble finding any 175s in this show. I was looking for American or United, and I can't find either. Oh, really? Interesting. Gemini made a 175, but it's rare, so they sell for like 200 bucks a pop. Yeah, I don't want to pay yeah. 200 bucks a pop for it. There he is. What's up, bro? Yeah. We're good, we're good.
This is the second hotel, Best Western Plus, right across the street. Oh, nice touch. Real nice touch. I like it. One of these machines, which is better because it makes more noise. And I like machines that make noise. Let me show you where we are real quick. I've been at the show all day and got quite the haul of stuff. There's the hotel. That's where the convention is. It's literally right through those doors right there. So. What a nice place. I like it. I like it a lot. I like this little living room. Yeah, it's nice. All right, so apparently there's some sort of pizza for people who registered. So I'm going to go find that out. And then I'll get you an update when I can on uh, what I all got at the show. So that should be fun. All right, talk soon. Here's the BP. This is the place I was talking about uh, this morning or yesterday in whatever video. Um, more people from the convention coming here because food is ungodly expensive at the restaurant. So just some ice cream uh, and a fork that's unusable now, just fine. Whatever bugles, some small snacks, just enjoying the weather for a minute before we head back to the hotel room. Real nice. Apparently my computer's having a bird right now, but that's okay. I've been full brightness. There she goes. Comes down a little bit. Watching videos and doing other stuff on it. So, yeah. All right. Uh, back in the hotel room. Uh, last clip, I think, was outside. So I think I'm going to just show you quickly what I got. Um, once again, no idea how this is going to work on the airplane. We're going to find that out tomorrow. Um, but let's just go over. Um, oh yeah, this will be going to that somehow. Let's figure out what days that is. Um, this bag, what's in here is pretty cool. Um, this is the problem for the airplane here. Um, but what this is, and I've wanted one of these for a while. Um, so since I have the 1200 airport vehicles, this is a display board. This is the wide body side, so I can put my wide bodies like 777, 76, A350, 78, 74, all that kind of stuff on this side. Um, put little airport vehicles all around it and do reviews. And on this side, these are custom made by a guy. You can't even buy these online. Um, is the narrow body section. And there's two of them, which I like. Um, so if I ever wanted to get a gate, I could put a gate here off to the side on the wall or something. And then put all the airport vehicles around on this side. Display the models on there. And the nice thing is the two stalls, I can put two right next to each other. So I can set up airport vehicles all around. And then I could put like the 737 or the A321 and then my Delta 75 over here or something like that. And you would get like a real world comparison with it. So it wasn't the cheapest thing ever. It's also 16 inches by 16 inches. Um, so it does not fit in the suitcase. So that might be a problem. Um, yeah, I'm just hoping airport security is a little lax because I paid 
a healthy chunk of change for this since that guy paints them. Um, every single one he has is different. Uh, so there's there's different roads, different lines, different everything on them. Um, he does 1 to 400 scales as well, but pretty cool. So next, two jets. Let's start with this. This thing is $5. Toomey branded. It's probably not actually like a Toomey. Uh, the color is a bit darker purple in real life than what's on the video. But I thought it was cool. It's just a Delta One kit. So I think there's just like soaps and just a bunch of stuff in this. So I thought that was kind of cool. Thought I'd pick that up. Um, the shop I shop at in St. Paul. That's pretty cool. I got this, which is cool. It's all cool. I should stop saying that. A320 um, brochure. This is right when it came out. Yeah, look at that. The best selling A320 family. So, what this is shows you all the different types. And remember, this is not Neo era, this is just A320. Beautiful flight deck, which we saw. Look at that. Let's open it up. This is the house livery. Very weird interior. But hey, this was whenever this airplane came out, I think. So then we got this. Oh my god, the 18. And one of my favorite parts over here is this. Who knew that there'd be a Pratt & Whitney Airbus variant? IAE V2500 CFM 56, which we will be getting experience on next. Flew the IAEs. But yeah, cool, paid $5 for that, worth it. So before we get to the uh, models, let's see what else I got here. A coupon some kid gave me, cause he's not gonna use it, cause he does 400 scale. Um, Flyman models. Good models on the website, rare models on the website. I bought multiple models from him at like ridiculous, amazing prices, discontinued models. So I recommend that. Um, West Coast Diecast, been on their website as well. Uh, I don't know if I bought models from them or not. Why well, I have three cards, I don't know. I don't need three. Uh, here's the guy that does the uh, pads there. It's like a balsa wood. Yeah. So I got his card. I got the Encyclopedia of Plane Tags. This is tags that are made out of the actual uh, parts of the aircraft. So they, they're labeled as like 757. They had a couple war, a zero. Um, and the Zero actually was one of the famous Zeros, one of two that shot down like a B-24 in World War II, which is really cool. And on the back of the tag, you could actually see all the, um, like, the color of the Zero itself. Um, and it was the actual metal from it, so they found it out in a swamp somewhere. Um, so really cool stories behind that. Definitely look that up. Another... Uh, plain thing there. A few pins. Bought these for, I think, I don't know, a dollar a piece. Old Delta pins. 
I wear some for work, but not this one. These are like old, old kid wings. Another pin I thought was kind of cool. PSA. I think I paid a dollar for this one. Yeah. Kind of cool there. And then my bag, which I already got. You know about that. But two models here. So we got a replacement A321 Neo to replace the current one I have because I looked through a bunch of them. Um, let's take this paper off. First of all, the box is gorgeous. Look at that. Brand new. Uh, I looked through a bunch of them at the show, and this is the best one I've seen. Uh, still not perfect. I say that every video, um, but yeah, it had the smallest wing gap, the best engine uh, setup that I could find. It's just a beautiful model, so let's pop it out here. Look at that black spinner on there. That was part of the selling point. That's the only imperfection I can really find on this one. And a lot of them are a lot worse. The wing gap, way better. The engine color, Pratt & Whitney PW1100. Much better. So quality control must have improved on this mold or something. Because it is good. It's really good. I like it a lot. So let me see if I can't pick it up here. Yeah, real nice. Real nice. I can let's see if I can't bring this thing over here. Here's the narrow body side. And then I can put all my airport vehicles around it. I have the stairs, all that kind of stuff, the Delta vehicles, all that. And you can put two narrow bodies there. Yeah, very nice. So, just give me a second, and we'll go to the last model I got. There's a story behind that one, so. All right, cleared off a of space here. Here's the last model I got. Yeah. Rare. I was looking for this one. You know, it's funny, the day before, I was like, you know, if anything else... If I could just find the United 737-800, I would be happy. And lo and behold, here it is. So, the story behind this one basically is, I bought the pass, the register pass, as you know, for this show, because my whole intent with that was, I don't know, I did not know what this show was going to bring. Um... I didn't know how many rare models. I didn't know, you know, what was going to be here. So my intent was get in as fast as you can. Look for the rare stuff that everybody else wants to buy and buy it first. And without that pass, I don't think I would have walked away with this one. Um, I went over. I looked at all. I went through all the models. Um, like all of them. 
I, I went from booth to booth that I saw models at, and I looked for models. I'm like, what does this one have? What does this one have? What does this one have? This one was sitting in a line of models. There was a few, a couple rare ones that guy had, um, but I saw this, United, and I saw instantly on the box what this was. So I picked it up, pulled it out, and I was like, are you kidding me? This is actually here. I opened it up. Did my inspection. You have to inspect every single model you buy. Um, so, pulled this off. The landing gear were still on the model, which I find kind of interesting. I did look for all the pieces, and they are there. So I just kind of pull it, pull it, put it on and then pulled it off just to make sure they were okay. But here it is. The 737-800 with split scimitar winglets. Yeah, I can't believe I found this one. I cannot believe it. Because United doesn't fly, they fly the 900, but Gemini never made a 900 of it. So, as soon as I pulled it out and I saw it was good, I told the guy, I'm taking this one right now. It, this is sold to me right now. And I took it. I got my cash out and I paid him. Because this is such a rare find. And it's the 800. It's not even the 700. There's a 700 on display there. But the 700 on display wasn't even for sale. This was the only one. So I don't know what these are worth um, on eBay and stuff like that. But I paid $125 for it. And I am more than happy to have paid $125 for it. It's exactly what I wanted. Yeah, I just pulled that money out and I said, here, give me this model right now. I'm not going to put the landing gear or anything on it. It is a rare model. Um, as you can see, it'll sit on the stand right there and I can put it right next to its A320 Brethren. So yeah, that's the story behind this one. I am so, so, so happy with this find. I finally have almost a complete United collection. The 737 is now added and the one I wanted, it's the 800 with the winglets. So yeah, really cool. By the way, the reason I'm at this hotel instead of the other hotels, because when I called and decided to come to this convention, it was like literally less than a month away. And the block was already sold out. And I asked if they had any rooms available in the hotel. None. So uh, that hotel was sold out for tonight. So I got to looking around and I was like, all right, now what am I going to do? Um... And I'm like, what is the next closest hotel? So I'm on Google Maps, um, and I'm looking, and I'm looking, and I'm looking. And this hotel popped up right next to it. And I go to Street View, and I'm like, how close is this hotel? I looked at the Kansas City International Hilton Hotel, which is where I was, and I literally... Turned around on Google Maps, and boom, there this one was, the Best Western Plus. And I'm like, all right, look at the reviews. Doesn't look that bad, as you can see. Not that bad at all. Nice little touches to the place. And it was about the same price as the block price, so I booked it. So that's why we had to switch hotels. There was no rhyme or reason other than the hotel I wanted was sold out, so... That's today. We're going to conclude here. I'm going to get ready for bed. It's about time for bed now. Um, it's getting late, 10, 30, 11 o'clock. I think we're not going to do the day videos. I think we're just going to film tomorrow up to the point of leaving for the trip. And then we're going to do another trip report on Delta's first class. Uh, domestic, one way. Kansas City to Minneapolis, all in one. 
CFM 56 engine experience, which is going to be fantastic. So yeah, there's my haul from the show so far. I looked around and looked at everything, and there was a lot more stuff that I could have bought. I didn't really need it, though. Didn't really want it. Um, I just kept it to the stuff that I really, really have been looking for, and a couple fun things that didn't, you know, cost hardly a hardly a dollar, and you know, five dollars for that, and, you know, five dollars for the Airbus book, which is totally cool to me. So, so happy that seventy dollar registration fee I paid off um, has paid off immensely because I got this, and I got two slices of pizza because apparently there was a little party today at the end. So, hope you enjoyed. I'm gonna go to bed. That looks very comfortable to me right now. I'm quite tired. And tomorrow morning, I'll film whatever it is that I end up doing tomorrow, which I have no idea. And then we'll hit you back with another trip report on our way back from Kansas City. Cool. Thanks for keeping up. We'll see you tomorrow. Peace. So needless update. I did say I was going to bed. Uh... I'm kind of worried on how all this is going to get packed. Um, so I am going to attempt to do that. I don't know if it's going to work because all that, plus a camera that I shouldn't have brought, and a laptop, and a bag full of chargers, and this bag, and all this stuff, need to get in here one way or another is my goal. So I have this plus the big square that worries me that doesn't fit obviously so um yeah i'm just trying to figure out how i can do this effectively with keeping them protected because this box is in amazing condition i'm actually kind of upset it doesn't have plastic on it but this box is also in amazing condition they both are worth protecting so i I don't know. I don't know. Wish me luck. All right. I got some sort of concoction going on here. It's kind of craziness. This thing is just loaded to the gills. I just went downstairs quick and got some tape from the guy. We got our weird square thing that I'm sure in security tomorrow they're going to see what's in the bag and see with this and they're gonna be like gets tear it all apart good luck putting it back together so who knows it's late it's not like 12. i'm gonna go to bed we'll catch you tomorrow and whatever tomorrow brings so good night talk to you later All right, here we are again. Good morning from the hotel. Uh, so, today, the show has started, and I was thinking, I'm like, well, how am I going to do breakfast here? Because uh, breakfast is 6 to 9 here, and I'm like, there's no way I'm going to be up by 9 o'clock to be down at breakfast. So, then I remembered I have breakfast coupons because I paid for the registration. So we're going to go over. We're going to eat breakfast. Uh, about 4 o'clock, I think I'm going to start getting ready to go um, get a lift to the airport. I was very worried about packing this bag. This bag, I will show you when we get back uh, how full it is. It is, like, it is packed to the nines. There are two Gemini 200 models in there, plus everything else, plus a camera, plus a laptop, plus, you know, you saw all the stuff laying out last night. So I got this little board thing taped up, which is good. So all I have is my coat, the board, gloves, suitcase, and nothing else. So we are pretty much ready to around here quick. Good morning. Maybe I should go over by the light. Here's my little pass. I'm going to wear this. Um, I think I'm going to wear the my Delta badge through the airport, just in case, you know, they send that bag through the scanner machine, and they're going to be like, hey, why are there two airplane-shaped things in here? And they're going to be like, hey, let's just, you know, unpack everything. Um, yeah, so that's not going to be good. But All right, day three 
leaving day. Here we go. And it's raining out. Great. How am I going to get over to the hotel now? I don't have a poncho or an umbrella or anything. So, <sighs> day three. Um, we'll cut this video at the show, after the show, um, and do our last trip vlog, I guess. See if we get that stuff through security. So, cool. See you over there. Just waiting for the rain to stop and get over to the hotel. Nice down here. You wait 15 minutes and you don't get rained on. Fantastic. All right, let's play around a little bit and eat breakfast. Wasn't my butt soft enough? Yeah, that's okay. <laughs> Get those, I've got a bag. 
with the breakfast coupon. Get some breakfast and continue with the show. What we got? Flapjacks. No French toast today. Okay. Let's do it. about your age, I was tired of going to the store and seeing the Herpa and the shop box. I'm like, if, if I want an airplane that's going to look like the real thing, I have to do it myself. And that, I woke up one day and said, you know what, I'm going to make my own brand of models because I was tired of buying crap from the store. And I set up Star Jets, also a 500 scale. And I almost put her out of business, but my business partners, because they were bringing in her bus, we had to we had to stop. So I sold the business to uh, another company. Okay. But 500 scale, four, I wanted everything to be perfect, and that was my vision. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, after yeah. years and years of hard work, if you really wanted to fix it, that's awesome. cool that you caught on to that. <laughs> Have a good one. Thanks, you too. These are custom models, enhanced from the original form, so they add antennas, they add spirals to the engines, which most of them don't come with. If you can't get me there, because I'm kind of bad about checking that enhanced, I'm kind of bad about checking that They're beautiful. Yeah. 
Just text me and say, Donald hey, it's Bates from the show. Okay. Uh, we, we talked about sending you a model. Just text me with that, and I'll get right back to you. These are one four hundred scale as well. My father was from Cheyenne, Wyoming. I'm flying into Denver to go to Frontier Days. Where are you from? I'm from New Orleans. All right. What part? I live on. Here's a Delta Triple Seven. I live in the Garden District. Okay. Very rare. Oh. Let's see the beacon look like it's flashing in the light. Triple Seven Two Hundred LR. I have this in one to two hundred. You can check out the unboxing. That's fantastic. There's a Tulip Library. Oh yeah, I think I already showed you this one. Tulip Library Triple Seven Two Hundred. Pratt and Whitney engines. No, I don't recognize that. My first house was a Tonza A380 and one to four hundred. Absolutely gorgeous. Wow. Yeah. You know, St. Bernard has changed down. If you go down almost into Del Beach, tons of Vietnamese have moved there. And St. These are all bigger plastic versions. So he doesn't really do much of the Gemini stuff because it's already mostly up to par. But this plastic stuff, you add all the antennas and all the details to it, it really makes a difference. Absolutely fantastic. Awesome. Two hundred series. Bought the book there. A320. Some linears. Very nice. The uh, United 737 was sitting right here. As soon as I saw it, I took it. See a lot of these around, but that one was such a rare find. Oh yeah, another rare find. That one. He's got two of those for the, that price, so that's a pretty good deal. You have that one too. Spirit, kind of like this one. You saw that one uh, just a little bit earlier in the video. Yeah, that was yesterday for me. It's cute. I like to. Everything's so expensive. The conical card. Magnets. Nice magnets. There's the one four hundred scale airport. This is the official Gemini one. Gemini wants seven hundred dollars for this. 
Uh, I found it for 400 online. Uh, I showed this a little earlier in the video. Got some big blown up pictures. Nothing that interests me. Um, I like United Evo Blue and Delta stuff. Um, Gemini 200. 787, which is pretty cool. Um, DG Pilot, my local shop, does have a Hawaiian A3 3200 with the uh, Rolls Royce engines on it, which is kind of interesting to me. Um, I just don't care for the Hawaiian scheme. I'd rather have something else with the Rolls Royce engines, but I like, I like the Rolls engines on there. The Delta has the Pratt, so yeah. So this is one of the um, ballrooms. And then the other one's just right across the hall there. So I've done five, six comb-overs so far. Um, pretty much found everything I wanted. Uh, a couple other cool swag items I just got. Um, yeah, some more, more models here. Ooh. Where are my pins? Almost lost my mind there. Can't lose these things. A320, A330, and a 747. Little pins. I'll wear those to work. People will like that a lot. And a nice blue lanyard. So this I'll wear to work too and replace the black one with it because because why not? So, yeah, a couple other little items. Thinking about getting those uh, Delta trucks, uh, 1 200 scale back there. Those are rare. Um, you can find them online right now. I bought a set because they're pretty rare, but we'll see. We'll see. Um, money isn't unlimited, and I've spent a lot already, even though I haven't bought that much. So, there's this airport. Yep, real nice. I'll show you DJ D, DG Pilots lineup real quick here too. Oh yeah, blanks. These are cool. These are models sent from the manufacturer for testing uh, to companies. So these are blank slates. Pretty cool. Couple Star Wars, Rolls Royce engine. I'm still looking for a Delta Triple Seven, a United Triple Seven Two Hundred. Um, I have one, but I want another one. Mine's got a couple things that really bother me, so pretty cool. A lot of safety cards, if that's what you're into. more lanyards. Oh yeah. Team USA United. This is DG Pilots Airport. 3D printed. This is actually Kansas City. Uh, A and B gates. A and B. So we'll be taking off from B today, I'm pretty sure. Um, so yeah. Here's their lineup. In flight 200, 15% off. That's pretty good. 737 again. Which I have. This is cool. I really like this. I don't want to pay $90 for it right now, but it's, that's cool. It's really cool. A lot of detail on that. It is a Delta product, too. I just have no room left in my bag. And 400s. This is the new release with the Rolls Royce on them. I have looked at this one before. The paint quality is very matte finish on it, um, like most of the new models are. Um, which is disappointing because they were better back in 2019 and before, but it's still a beautiful model.
Very beautiful. Here's that A330. Air Canada 78-9, the mask, very nice. I do like the spirit. You did see this earlier in the video. Um, I keep coming back to it because I actually really do like it. I know it's spirit, but the model is really good. Air France. I can't tell if it's a 200 or a 300. Oh, it's a 300. I'm an idiot. General Electric GE90 115Bs. That's cool. Emirates. I do plan to start an Emirates collection someday, aka this airplane and the A380. <laughs> but that one I don't want. I want the old version because the new versions uh, were not very good. Um, so, yeah. <clears throat> Yeah, here's this Hawaiian A330-200 with Rolls-Royce engines. They're Canada Rolls-Royce, that's kind of cool. This Emirates box is really nice too. Very different, very official. I think I looked at this earlier in the video. Um, I don't remember if I took a video of it, but... Yeah, good candidate right here. This too. Government of Canada. In flight. did say 15% off all in-flight models which is kind of cool 757 with Pratt & Whitney's if only this was the Evo Blue yeah good option that's the DG Pilot collection right now so yeah Catch you up on the outside. All right, so we took a lift to the mall here. An antique mall. This is Poppy's Treasures booth, which we stopped by and talked to. This is the stuff he's got here. Oh, that's the 320. That's rare. That's the one I have. 320 Neo. And they would service it. They would buy it. Yeah. It just says safe service. Military stuff. Major That's pretty cool. Seven eight seven dash eight. That's rare, I think. Seven six seven three hundred F non interactive. That's nice. Triple seven. Condor thing. Sherway is AP21. Oh, there's another. Oh, the Love Tanza. BMD11. Concord. That's a good price. 
There's some weird, I didn't even know it would be that, that, that was big light. Five seven condor. Oh, there's Air Canada. Oh, yeah. Very nice. Very nice. All right. I think I want to look at some of these. So. Let's find out who I can talk to. Is that the love tones? Oh, that's, that's the normal version. Yeah? Okay. Cool. It's all the current stuff, but there are a couple rare things. That's really cool. That's really cool. A couple rare things over in the other case that I do want to look at. I think I'm going to contact him about shipping. Um, because I'm from out of town. So, not too much over here. So, case five. Yeah, key five. Okay, let's go look. Good Chiefs, you know, so all the good rookies. Tyreek Hill's rookies are going for a hundred bucks and more for some of the better ones. Yeah. And then you, know, you got Kelsey and Mahomes. And just they just uh, resigned Hardman. Didn't he want to call the pass? He hadn't been with them and he came for the last game and played the last play of the game and they got that touchdown with the court. Yeah. So they're not in the back. So yeah. that's a good thing. It's good stuff. Yeah, I, th I, I think they're reasonable. Yeah, some people would die for some of these right now, like the internet. Oh my God. Thank you. 
that is the conclusion. We are outside of the hotel. The bag is packed to the brim. Our pallet thingy is here. No idea how that's going to get through security, but that's the conclusion of the show. So, we just saw a bunch of unique, cool airplanes from that one guy. I might call him back and buy some later. Um, I just didn't really know how to go about it right now. Um, so, yeah. So, hope you enjoyed. Really fun, really cool show. Highly recommend. It's in Atlanta next year. So, that should be pretty cool. That's del basically Delta theme. So, if I'm still into this and still doing this stuff, I think I'll take off next year as well. So... All right, hope you enjoyed. Uh, next video up we're gonna start is the trip report, Delta first class. So stay tuned for that. Peace.